Hey everybody, PKO Gamer here. Re-recording this because I guess the computer decided not to record the first two or three seconds again. OBS, good job, OBS. Um, AAA games, AAA developers, Mass Effect Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda is in a poor state right now. It's gotten a lot of attention. A lot of people make fun of it. Hell, I saw something on Facebook. Somebody did a Looney Tunes mockery of it. And it makes sense because it's kind of sad the way the game looks. And then, unfortunately, the person or people, I think it's a lady or somebody who did some of the animating or did the animating is being personally attacked. That's sad. I don't have much else to say about it other than I can't. I, it doesn't shock me. Our community, our gaming community is pretty septic. And I think it's tacky. That's the way people are treated. But. It just is what it is, you know. I, I think I think it ought to stop, but it's probably not going to stop. But the quick point, talking point, I want to do. This is going on my channel, not Epica Geeky or anything. AAA games and AAA devs are getting so much focus. I heard all this. It's Mass Effect and Drama going to the Switch. Switch is that's that Switch up there is going to be a piece of shit if you don't get it. It's out selling. It's selling out every time it's produced. It's selling well. It didn't need it. Neither, neither does Sony or Microsoft really need Mass Effect Andromeda. It's getting sixes, sevens, and sometimes a little bit closer to eights, but it's getting okay reviews. It's getting, it was, it's not that great. Even past the technical problems. So what I'm, the talking point is when the gaming community focuses on a dev or game or this combination like Bioware and Mass Effect, it's going to revolutionize and your system needs to have it. That, that, that switch up there, it better have it. You don't need it. It's doing fine. Sony and Microsoft systems probably didn't need a drama in this in the poor state it's in. Not, not all technical. It's just, I read some reviews and people say it's just, there's not much depth to it. It's bland characters. Some people do like it. it again, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, but it seems to be an okay entry. So what happens when the gaming community just focuses on a game or a dev so much and they ignore the, the second party, the third party, the indies? And this is where I have to say the Switch up there is getting a lot of good attention from third parties or well, the indies. I like to call them the Ninties. There's a lot of good games coming out for the Switch. I mean, I want to look at Splatoon 2. If I got some base, Cyrus and Justin, a few other people, maybe my friend, want to play it. I say, do you want to play Splatoon? Let's buy it. I'm already got Mario Kart coming, but Flipping Death is one of them. There's another game. A lot of, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but I saw some of them in that presentation. I was like, I like that. I like that. I got Fast RMX, $20. Brilliant racing game. They patch in the friends mode where we can actually get in and race each other. It's going to be a damn... It's going to be a ball. It's going to be fun. Uh, Shovel Knight. I got just Spectre of Torment just to see how I try it out for 10 bucks. Of course, it's a great game. Uh, Bloodstained is going on um, all, all consoles and that's going to the Switch. That's going to be a damn brilliant move. And here we got also rumors of a Pokemon game going on. You know, that is a big AAA game, but everybody, but really, it's not a multi console, multi platform thing. It's a Nintendo thing, but I don't think there's so many times when we're focusing on a dev or a game. There goes my clock going off. Sorry about that. Um, if people just start hyping it up, I mean, like I said, the Switch got so much hate. You're not going to have all, that Mass Effect Andromeda. It's going to suck. It just sold out again, I think, at Best Buy or some other place. Or it, it, it's, they're, uh, Nintendo's doubling their production. There's another point I'm going to get to. But it doesn't matter. It's Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, and the PC, Steam doesn't need, you know... One, Mass Effect Andromeda or, or this is also No Man's Sky I was hyped I went ape shit over it and I went out that day and found the last copy at my GameStop trade in a couple things I didn't need I didn't, I ended up making money off of it and it was a, pretty much a flop I was really I liked it. it it's really fun I haven't got rid of it I need to patch it it's fun it's still pretty fun it's probably a 6 or a 7 out of 10 for me because it's a great just open world open universe exploring game but no Man's Sky, and it was hyped, and then it comes out, and they're okay, and it happens over and over, and I'm go getting asked, why are we focusing on this one AAA game, or this, or even if it's not, that was an indie game, this super hype game, 
especially from triple A's and triple A devs, and then they don't do well, and, it, and leading up to that, people bash the Switch, or you're not going to have Andromeda, who cares? It's okay, it doesn't look like it's going to do great. I think we're getting to the point where we're too worried about saying, well, even as people say, don't get a call, that Switch don't get a Call of Duty or Battlefield, it probably won't. It's not, it don't need it. It's probably going to get other things. But you're going to say, well, there's stuff on that Nintendo Switch system, that PC and those Xboxes aren't going to get. Who cares? Play what's good. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. I have nothing else more to say about it. I just don't understand why the gaming community focuses on like a big game and hypes it. And then when it fails, it's like, oh, let's make fun of it. But it's used to put down other systems and other gamers and why don't we just focus on the good games no matter if it's first party triple a second party third party indie or whatever else if they look great especially if they're coming out on all consoles then it's going to be really great for you know gamers well, stop hyping stuff and then get disappointed because i mean just because it's a big company don't mean it's going to do very well all right everybody uh everything should have popped up on the screen here subscribe and share let me know what you think I'm not bashing any console or PC gamers. So I'm not bashing any company. I just think it's funny when a big game comes out and it's hyped up and used to attack a console that's coming out and it does poorly. Everybody goes, oh, shit. What do you think about it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, everybody. Big Gamer.